Here, what I would do is I would ask 10 people. Okay, so to 10 people, I'm going to, you know, tell them, hey, can you come, you know, over to my house? I'm going to do an experiment. And so I'm going to sit everybody down and each person, I'm going to give them a cup of cherry soda, orange soda, and lime soda. And I'm going to tell them, okay, go ahead and try each soda and write in a little paper what soda you think is the sweetest. So they're going to write their answer on the paper, they're going to fold it up, and they're just going to leave it in a little cup. So mm -hmm. now, when they, when they leave, I'm gonna take all those little papers and I'm gonna open them and I'm going to make a tally chart yes. and put a tally for each answer, okay? After that, I'm going to see which soda has the most tallies. So that means that one is, you know, the most sweetest. So yeah. from that example, what was my experiment? Your experience is... Experiment. So remember, experience and experiment are two different words, right? Yeah, they're so alike. I can't guess. Yeah. Yeah, they're very alike. So... so um, you just love people you didn't hear, so like this, I'm trying. So like this. Mm. So, well, they just... Well, papers and each one huh, you just gave each of one a paper glass and then you just gave them the same amount so they didn't you know get so ha happy with this and this and they have to uh, so everyone needs to be equal mm -hmm. so they just get in all of them and then you like everyone to choose what they like best so, so I have a like, question. What if they're all equal, like five? Uh, so like two, 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 like one, 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 one. That would be that would be. So if that were were to happen, you know, if, if you know they have two, 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 two of the same, then I would just need to call ten more people, ten different people, and I would need to do my experiment again, right? So yeah. that will cause you a little bit down a little. Yeah. So if that were to happen, you know, I would just need to do my experiment all over again, right? Because it didn't really answer my question. Okay. All right. So do you have any questions about the procedure? So the procedure, yep. you know, it's just kind of like the steps. So first pour the soda, first call the people over. Then um, give them each, you know, a cup of soda with the same amount. Third, ask them to write their answer in a paper. And last, you know, ask them to put the papers in the hat or in the cup. So all of these steps are the procedure. So how are you going to do this experiment? They're kind of, you can kind of think it, you can think about it like the instructions to the experiment. Yeah, like instructions you how to make the bike. First, you need to have two people. So one to hold the handle and one will follow the seat here. Boom, boom, boom. Right. Exactly. Okay, and the last is about predict. Okay, so predict. Um, is what you think will happen. All right, is what you think will happen. Okay, in the future. All right. Oh, look. Was this the scientist? Oh, no. He was looking at a footprint. Never mind. Okay. So let's look at these vocabulary words real quick just so we can review them. Um, so, inquiry skills. When you experiment, you use these skills. Okay. So the first one is experiment. Perform a test to support or disprove a hypothesis. Okay, so to either support, so that means that your answer is right, or disprove, that means your hypothesis is wrong, okay? Mm -hmm. Use variables. Identify things in an experiment that can be changed or controlled. Okay, so we said that my variable and my, or actually, what was my variable in this new experiment with sodas? 
So the way we get them is soda. Very good. Perfect. Delete. Good job. All right. So, you know, that's what I'm trying to test. You know, I have different kinds of sodas, so they are my different variables. And predict state possible results of an, of an event or experiment. And the last one is make a model. Make something to represent an object or event. All right, so go ahead and read these, please. Okay, so when you experiment, you okay. use these skills. Experiment. Perform a test to support or disprove a hypothesis. Use fabulous. In many things in an experiment, I can be changed or control. State I identify. Identify things in experiment that can be changed or control. Project state possible results of an event or experiment. Make a model. Make something to represent an object or event. Very good. Okay.